treatment actually for coronary artery disease, everything boils down to control of risk factors. Well, risk factors can be divided into two groups, I guess. We have the modifiable risk factors and the non-modifiable ones. Non-modifiable means it's something that we, are, we, we can't change. So for example, we can't change age and we can't change our family members. You can try and modify other risk factors such as high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes. Okay, so all this um, can be modified with two things. Number one, medications. Um, so it is very important for patients with heart disease to carry on to be compliant with their medications on a daily basis. All these medications help by controlling the diabetes, the high cholesterol and high blood pressure um, to some extent. Now it is also important to adopt lifestyle changes because medications alone can't control diabetes and cholesterol. It makes no sense to take medications and yet indulge in cha kwe tiao and roti prata your cholesterol will never be controlled. So it is important to cut down on all the fatty foods, fried foods in your daily diet. Exercise regularly. Losing weight itself is a very good way not just to control um, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, it is also a good way to prevent heart attacks. Lastly, it is very important to stop smoking um, because even one cigarette stick a day also does harm to the heart and the coronary arteries. In terms of treatment, medicine plays the most important role. And in severe cases, we do procedures such as ballooning and stenting to the coronary arteries. And in the worst, worst case scenarios, we actually do bypass surgeries. In terms of heart failure, medications again play an important role. And uh, treatment for heart failure and coronary artery disease is very closely linked. Um, finally, for atrial fibrillation, um, two very important um, groups of medications. One is a group of medications that serves to control um, the heart rate and rhythm and the other group of medications that helps to prevent strokes. These are generally what we call blood thinners. Um, they are very important because um, stroke is something that we all don't wish to have because it causes a lot of disabilities and all that. So it is important for patients to be compliant to these medications. For heart disease wise, it is very important. I, I, I personally believe that preventive um, um, cardiology is the way to go. Um, we don't want to wait for it to happen already and then we, we, we do something about it. Because like I mentioned earlier, a lot of the risk factors can be modified by simple lifestyle interventions, by being compliant with the medications. Um, a lot of people are not aware that heart muscles, unlike hair and nails, if we cut them, they regrow. Heart muscles, once they are damaged, they do not go back to their usual normal state. So if you have coronary artery disease, you develop a heart attack, eventually resulting in heart failure. It is an irreversible process. So maintain a healthy lifestyle, don't smoke, um, eat healthily, exercise regularly. If you have any of those risk factors, control it well with your medications. That's the way to go. That's how I feel heart disease should be treated.